Legend says the word Canada comes from Kanata, the Huron Iroquois word for village. And although those early villages have grown into our modern provinces, Canada has remained a cultural mosaic, a place where you can keep and nurture your language and traditions while embracing the future. All of which has made Canada one of the most diverse modern and natural places on the globe. So settle in as we take you on a journey far and wide across five regions, six time zones, and 5,700 miles. Or as we like to say in Canada, 9,300 kilometers. Because we have the metric system up here, you know. We begin on the East Coast in Nova Scotia with one of our true Canadian treasures, the Blue Nose. She not only looks impressive, she can move too. The Blue Nose was once the world's fastest racing schooner. The Atlantic provinces are well known for their historical towns and traditions, as well as some of the most musical Canadian accents you'll find anywhere in the country. Just west of the Atlantic in central Canada, you'll hear lots of French accents because French is an official language spoken here. Quebec City is one of North America's oldest metropolises, a perfect blending of old world meets new. Its southern neighbor, Montreal, blends over 350 years of multicultural heritage with stunning architecture. And it's the second largest French-speaking city internationally after Paris. Naturellement, both cities offer lots for you to explore and discover. One thing you'll discover is that Canadians thrive on and embrace the public exploration of art, theatre, dance and music. Just west of Montreal is our nation's capital city, Ottawa. A city of museums, festivals and celebrations. Oh, and in the winter, don't miss your chance to ice skate on the Rideau Canal. Always a good time. The Thousand Island Suspension Bridge straddles Canada and the United States across the St. Lawrence River. It's just one of our many natural U.S.-Canadian connections. Niagara Falls is another. And as any self-respecting Canadian will tell you, our falls are bigger than the American falls. But they're both really spectacular. That's true. Continuing west of our way bigger falls is the provincial capital, the great city of Toronto. One of the largest cities in North America, and in my opinion, one of Canada's best. Did I mention I'm from there? Did I mention the Toronto Raptors? The North has made history! Let's move on to our third region, the Prairie Provinces. With the Rocky Mountains on one side and the prairies on the other, Calgary is absolutely gorgeous and one of today's most exciting modern cities. Cowboy hats are proper dinner attire in a region where horse and ranch culture still thrive. As does the annual Calgary Stampede, a spectacle that's been charging along for over a hundred years. Just outside Calgary, the great outdoors become even greater, with activities for every skill and thrill level. And I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge our deep love of a hobby. For many Canadians, it's a way of life. And a way of life for our dentists, too. Yeah. I have to admit, in Canada, things can get pretty wild. Actually, very wild. Our 
our journey continues to the West Coast and British Columbia. The Okanagan Valley is home to two very different environments. The valley's temperate climate is ideal for growing grapes in our wine country. And you'll also find Canada's only desert region. Yes, Canada actually has a desert. Now grab your coats, because we're heading toward the snowy peaks of Whistler. At Whistler Mountain, you'll find opportunities for almost every winter sport imaginable. Say, are you a fan of heliskiing? Hell yes, as long as I'm not the one doing it. Fortunately, it's just one of the many ways to experience these majestic mountains, which were home to much of the 2010 Vancouver Olympics. And this is Vancouver, tucked right next to the Pacific Ocean. There's more vitality and culture here than you can shake a Canadian maple leaf at. Cathedral Grove, one of my favorite Vancouver spots. Some of these trees are 250 feet tall. Trees that have been nurtured by Canada's indigenous people for centuries. Canada is home to numerous First Nations peoples, a wonderful portrait of multicultural diversity. Our fifth and final region is the North, divided into Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. For countless generations of families, this majestic home has provided a traditional lifestyle. It's just a glimpse of our Canada, far and wide. We hope you know now why we love it so much. Not just for the natural beauty, but for the people who make it so special. And the best way to really know this country is to experience it yourself. So come visit our Canada. We'd, We'd love, love to have you. Ta ligne de vie se trace les miracles de la terre. 